Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's the most overrated drink? Fight milk. The first alcoholic dairy based protein drink for bodyguards. By bodyguards. I drink it every morning so I can fight like a crow. In reality it's a diarrhea drink that made Cerrone and Felder shit and vomit their brains out. And it's not the official drink of the UFC. I'm partial to Wolf Cola. It's the official drink of Boca Raton. Boca Raton. Or Boko Haram. Shit. Negro ni sabaliato with Prosecco in it. I'm actually ashamed that when a server approached my well saying her table wanted the TikTok drink, I knew what it was. I always laugh because the drink looks very vibrant. But like any Negro ni or variant of Sitch it is a bitter cocktail. People have no idea what they're getting into when they order it haha. -ha. Lol I love the idea of TikTokers ordering a Negro ni and barely being able to manage a sip. Stunning. This guy talks. Stunan. Martinis. They will call anything a martini. If any bar serves 30 types of martinis, that means their customers don't actually like a martini. I once went to a martini bar, and I asked for a martini. First, they didn't have gin, so I settled for a vodka martini. Then the waitress came back and they didn't have vermouth. Like, what the hell are you doing then? I went to a cocktail bar recently and they were only selling beer and wine for the weekend. There were four people behind the bar. I once went to a martini bar, and I asked for a martini. First, they didn't have gin I would have left. Bud Light. Its popularity is not one of life's great mysteries, it's one of history's great mysteries. I don't think it's well rated though, people drink it because it's near enough to tasteless. And cheap. When you're downing a 30 pack every night you have to factor in expenses. Most people are simply too poor to afford to be an alcoholic on fancy shit. It's low cal, cheap and easy to drink. Pretty easy to understand really. Which is precisely why spiked seltzers are catching on. Because they offer flavor options other than yeast. I have my down voting finger ready for the people who say drive. Pepper. Doctor. Pepper is barbecue sprite. I don't know whether to call the police or give you an award. I downvoted you at first BC I saw Dr. Pepper and assumed you were trashing it. I have corrected this and profusely apologize and will work with my team to ensure this never happens again. Soylent. Back when it first came out people on Reddit were treating it like the new iPhone. It was sold out for months. The pitch was that you'd pour a bag of powder into a pitcher of water every morning and chug that throughout the day instead of thinking about and buying food. You could theoretically save hours every day and a lot of money on food. I think the biggest hurdle is that for a majority of people food is the great pleasure they get in life. Edit. Since this blew up I decided to see if they had a referral program and they do. It'll apparently give us both a $10 discount on more Soylent, https colon slash slash prz.io slash qx25gx66. Due to existing health problems Soylent was what I lived off for about two years before my health crapped out enough that I got a feeding tube, and it tasted way better than any of the other meal replacement drinks I tried, could afford. It kept me alive and had more flavors than other brands, and tasted pretty alright. That being said, if you can eat, I have no clue why you'd choose not to ever eat and just drink stuff instead. Shout out to Soylent for the nutrients and all. But I'd sell my left foot to be able to have a basic grilled cheese or something. Meal replacement drinks are not something to get hyped up about. Edit. For clarity because I may have fucked this up the Soylent helped. It did not lead to the feeding tube, it allowed me to avoid one for about two more years. Guess my phrasing isn't all that, oops cold sweat smile. I was accidentally shipped two cases of 24 bottles of Soylent and pretty much lived off of it for a month. It was a weird experience. I really liked it though. I love the flavor for some reason. I also like those biodegradable starch packing peanuts. Which it reminds me of. Soylent was a good way for my husband to get nutrients in when he was undergoing chemo and had no appetite. Though, I strongly disliked the taste but he didn't mind the chocolate one. But outside of that context, I don't know why anyone would want to regularly drink Soylent. As someone that is bad at eating I had him around when I was working something like 80 hour weeks. Was nice to know I was getting some basic essential nutrients and could just grab them going out the door. Then when I'm bulking they are helpful just for me to have at the end of a meal for extra calories. I actually don't mind the taste. Hope your husband beat the shit out of that cancer. Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster. It's like like having your brain smashed out by a slice of lemon, wrapped, round a large gold brick. Just give me some of that all, jank spirit. It feels like being drunk, what's wrong with being drunk? Ask a glass of water. Excellent. Although, this exchange was referring to the experience of going through hyperspace. I believe. And the line was something closer to. It's unpleasantly like being drunk. Mountain Dew. Sounds refreshing but feels like you're drinking syrup. Fun fact. Mountain Dew was originally designed as a whiskey mixer. 
which is ironic since it may be the only major soda type which is virtually never mixed with whiskey. I tried it. It's delicious. I once put Mio Energy in a Mountain Dew and chugged it. I thought I was going to die. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Yo. I heard you like syrup so I put some syrup in your syrup.